Welcome back students and others. Let's take a look at how to do scripting in Audacity. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up a window, uh, a browser, right? And just Google Audacity scripting. And the first hit should be, and here it is. Yep, scripting Audacity manual. I'm gonna click on that first link. And then it brings me to the scripting docs or documentation page on Audacity. Audacity being a sound editor, right? And it describes how to set up the ability to do scripting. The first thing it says we need to enable a plugin called mod script pipe. It's now shipped with Audacity, but we need to enable it. Okay, so let's do that. Let's jump over to Audacity. If you don't have it open, go ahead and open it up. Here is Audacity. We need to get into the settings window or the settings page of Audacity. On Windows, I think you'll find it um, under the edit menu, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if it's there. If it's not there, look for preferences. We're looking for the preferences window. On Mac, you click on the Audacity menu and click on preferences. And then it will likely default to this top level um, page on the left hand side. This There's quite a few options here on the left hand menu. It'll probably default to the audio settings there. We want to click on the third from bottom one that says modules. Look for modules down there at the bottom of that left hand menu. And then um, there are quite a few options here. They all begin with mod. We're looking for mod script pipe. And here it is at the bottom, the second from bottom option. It will likely say no choice made or disabled by default if you haven't done it, if you haven't enabled it before. But we want to change that to enabled. So again, we want to change mod script pipe to enabled. So it's checked like it is now. Okay, and then we click OK. And then they say on the instructions to just shut down Audacity and reopen it. So I'm just going to come over to Audacity and shut it down. Quit Audacity. Good, I'm going to open it back up. And here comes Audacity. Here's the welcome page or the welcome screen on, in Audacity. I'll just say OK. Good, we just need a running instance of Audacity sitting right there. All right, let's go back to the instructions over here on the web page. Um, here is the full set of scripting commands. I'm going to do a command click or a control click to open this as a new tab on my browser. I don't want to click away from this page, but I do want to open up that reference page of uh, all the scripting commands. So I now have a second tab open on my browser and it's scripting reference. There it is. I'm going to click back to the first tab to get back to the manual. Okay, good. Let's jump down to getting started. If we just scroll down and look for getting started, there it is. We first need to enable, which we just did. We just enabled the mod script pipe. We just did that. Good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, check that it works. And we're going to click on this pipe underscore test dot py on GitHub link. If you can see that very well, it's right there. Pipe test uh, py on GitHub. So if I click on that, actually, you know, I'm going to go back and not, I'm going to do another command click so I don't click away from this page, I'm going to do a command click or a control click on that link to open up a new tab so I don't click away from that documentation page. And wouldn't you know it, it's a 404 page not found error. Now that's all right because it's not hard to find the file on the repository. The way we can do that, if we come up to the top left of this screen, and we click on that second Audacity um, word right there, it'll bring us to the top level of the repository. And here, right above the directories, right in the middle of the screen, it says go to file. If I just simply search for pipe underscore test, you can see that, yeah, okay, they do have the pipe underscore test.py file in this repository, but it's not, it's not where that link thought it was. So if you click on the second option there, the first option ends in PL. We don't want the PL one, we want the PY one. PY stands for Python. So let's click on the second one that says PY. And here is their code, it's a Python script that they have written to test out the um, ability to do scripting in, in Audacity. There it is, they're defining some functions there and then they run the quick test on line 80 down here at the bottom left of the screen. Now the way to download this is you click on this download raw file link or the button right there. Right there, I'm circling with my cursor. Right, download raw file. I'm not gonna click it myself, but you should. You should download that to your hard drive. I've already done so, so I'm not gonna do it right now. But once you download it to your hard drive and open it up in some text editor, whatever text editor you want would work. I'm using VS Code here. But here it is, I've made a few changes here. 
but I've just kept the basics. Like everything is the same except for the things that I've added. I added a little if name equals main, then do this thing just for good style. I've commented out there a quick test on my line 77. Let me zoom in a bit there. And then I've hidden my pathways on my computer for good measure. And then um, let me talk to you about the files. Let's go over to here, to these windows. On the left-hand side, I um, have a little window where we can look at some files I have. I have six WAV files. They're really short. I'll just play one for you right now. I'll just play fruit.wav. Listen. It's going to be quiet, so listen. Okay, I purposely made them quiet to show you how to amplify with the script, but that's the majority of those files are just are like that. It's really quiet, um, simple files. Over here on the right hand side, I have a different directory that I'm going to write out um, the amplified files to. Let's just take a look that it's empty right now. Indeed, it's empty. It says total zero right there, on the top right of my screen. Okay, so. Let's just go back over to my Python script. Again, this is simply the test script, but I've modified it a bit. So I'm first gonna find all of my files that are in the, um, the left-hand window we just saw that are quiet. And then I'm just gonna loop over those files, and then I'm just gonna do these commands. These, uh, this function called do command is, it allows you to send a macro to Audacity. And Audacity does the work. So it's Python saying, hey Audacity, do this work for me. Do this, do that. Um, and so let's jump back over to the web browser and jump to our second tab, which is scripting reference. This is where they have listed all the, the commands you can do with the scripting um, ability that it provides. So yeah, I use new right there. So I'm creating a new window on line 86 and then import to, let's see if I can find it quickly. I'm just gonna do a control F on this, import to Import to no space right there. This imports a file. So I'm going to import one of those files, right? The current file. Let me jump back over to Python. All right, we're going to loop over the file names and we're going to pull in the current file. And then I'm going to select all. I'll just show you real quick. Select all is in here as well. There's select all. Selects all of the audio. I think it by default it does have all the audio selected, so you probably don't need that step, but I just do it for good measure. Then amplify amplify there it is amplify um where did it go right here there are two parameters or two arguments you pass into amplify one is the ratio to increase or decrease the volume of the audio and then allow clipping the default is false on that so i use amplify right there i'm going to amplify it by a ratio of three i'm going to make it three times louder is what i'm going to try and do there and then export export two is as it as the name suggests, right, is to export an audio to a named file. I'm going to push it out to the out directory. Again, just to make clear, I'm, I'm purposely hiding my directories on my computer to these directories. The left-hand one is my input directory, which has my files, my quiet files. My right-hand window here um, has nothing right now. Okay, good. So. I'm going to run this. I'm going to go like this for a second. And I'm going to run it. Ready, set, run. And it has ran or has run. Yeah, let's use has run. Let me do this, go back to this point. Okay, so I just ran it and it, it, what it did is Python controlled Audacity. So it opened up um, as many windows as there were files. So each files in its own window now. Well, we can just listen to one of these. Let me go back to fruit. Let's go back to fruit, which here's the original, or this will actually be amplified now. Let's actually um, listen to before and after. So again, on the left-hand side here, I have um, the original. Let's just play the fruit one again. Listen, it's kind of quiet. Okay. I'm not even sure if you could hear it, but now if we look in here in the output directory, we do have files. We have uh, those same files. Well, they're the same name, but they're louder. So if I come over here and play one of these, this should be louder. Apple, banana, orange, mango, or mango, kiwi, strawberry. 
I hope it's coming across um, through OBS that my screencasting software that the first one was quieter, the second one's louder. That's that's the main point. It's just a simple example of how to use the scripting uh, in Audacity to perform um, some modification on the sounds. You can go over many sounds right with Python. This is simple Python. Looping over files is a pretty common uh, thing in Python. And I'm just using Audacity to do something to each file. So there you have it. That's how you can do scripting again. It's pretty simple. You just simply um, Google Audacity scripting, follow the instructions to do what we did. And we walk through it together. Uh, and then you can just use all these, these commands that you can do in Audacity with your mouse. Right, but you can use computer code to automate this over many files. I only had six files in my input directory, right? I could have had hundreds or thousands of files that it would have worked on. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.